And we're back to Gandhi. Now, before we continue, I need to check, uh, well, correct some mistakes from the previous episode uh, related to running the bot. Yeah, the, the main rule with running the bot is never to think for the bot. Just do exactly what the instructions say. So, oh, and also this. When I removed unrest here, I actually shouldn't have because uh, there was this active piece. A revolutionary base, which is an active piece, so the Raj could not have bought imperialism here and removed unrest because in East Bengal there is a, a support network for a terrorist cells and as long as these guys are active, nothing, the unrest is not going to calm down, so... And this is staying, which means the, revolution, the revolutionists get two more points. Next, uh, what else should I have done? Okay, first of all, following the instructions for sweep for this guy, I should have just followed literally what it says. Uh, sweep. Space with no Raj control. Can this guy move to a space with no Raj control? Uh, oddly enough, yes. This one. And that gives him control. Of course, that means that this guy is goes, going to sweep, sweep in Assam. And that means he's not sweeping here, which means this guerrilla goes underground. And no control is lost here. So, but the Raj gets control there. Okay, also I need to spend that point of imperialism I got, which I didn't spend on unrest, and I can do it in any spaces with cubes, and the priority is neutral spaces, meaning it's going to be, I think it's Rajputana, Central India Agency, and Mysore. So one of these three, and priority-wise, just pick randomly. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, randomize. Four. Okay, four. And it's going to make Central India Agency a bit more favorable towards uh, the Raj. Now, this doesn't mean that uh, the entire population is for the Raj, it just means the politically active part of it. And they kind of spread this influence to the rest of the society. Now, so we've done this, we've done that, and now, when I was resolving the sweep here, I should have followed a different priority in United Provinces. In the move table, what it says... Cubes do not exceed active adversaries in destination, go to point B, and select an origin, meaning... Basically, if it can't get control here, it just... By moving from Delhi, it's going to pick a piece from Punjab, so this one. And now the Raj is going to get control in the United Provinces too, and this guy doesn't get swept. And this is me finally fixing all the mistakes for the Raj sweep. And the Raj gets 30 points on top of what I'd given him, or it, or them, whatever. But, of course, there was that event for the revolutionaries, which said that revolutionaries get, that revolutionaries get uh, in up to four spaces, either a guerrilla or an unrest marker. These, space, these spaces are under Raj control, so revolutionaries get three guerrillas. One here, and one here. And I think that's that's it for the bot turns. So the situation is slightly worse. And now we're moving on to the actual next card. Okay, the uh, the league has passed, and the Raj is going to. Well, first I'm going to see what the card says. Sixty six Gandhi's fast unto death. What is this all about? Sixty-six, Gandhi's fast unto death. The end of British rule and the subsequent partitioning of India into Hindu and Muslim nations led to violence and bloodshed on a staggering level. Throughout India, communities that had been integrated for a thousand years were ripped apart. Calcutta, the site of communal bloodshed in 1946, card 72, 
was in the midst of rioting in 1947 when Gandhi undertook a four-day fast that halted the violence. Oh, that's interesting. So this is actually surprisingly connected to the card we've just played. So, what is going to happen? Well, this is not a critical event for the Raj, this... What, and the Raj is probably going to just... No, no, no. It's just going to do operations and special activity. Oh boy. What is the Raj going to do? Actually, Raj has two options here, I can tell you right now. Raj could do assault and put all of these people uh, in jail or in the grave. Or Raj could deploy more forces. Let's see. Die roll less than number of available troops. Well, the... let's roll the die. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, we got lucky. Cubes exceed all active non-base adversaries in any spaces. Shit. No. Yes, uh, they exceed active non-base adversaries in any spaces. Specifically here. Ah, uh, crap. Wavell is Viceroy? No, Wavell is not Viceroy. We've got some... lead guy. Okay. Sweep. Now, we're going to select spaces using remove. Okay, th the real question is which will be the first space where the Raj does anything, because after that... A space with no... Okay, wait, remove, remove. No Raj can do all. Fewest active adversaries. Twice cubes more than active adversaries. Well, it's going to apply both here and here. Uh, two pop, uh, protest... Uh shit. Okay, it's going to happen here. Okay, so how is this, the assault going to go? Poorly. Let me show you. Assault, removal or arrest adversary forces. Any space with rush forces? Right. Troops alone are free. Yeah, this is uh, an interesting uh, twist of how this game, uh, the, the armed forces of the Raj work. Troops are the best uh, armed force. They just remove one enemy piece whenever they assault. Sepoys normally need two pieces per... need two pieces to remove one. But when sepoys are bundled with troops, I suppose troops are coordinating sepoys' activities, and sepoys all act with the same efficiency as troops, which is why Raj bot priorities normally ask to uh, to move um, to move troops and uh, the um, what's, it, what's it called the uh, sepoys uh, together. Meaning m move one troop into an area and then add sepoys. Hold on, wait a minute. Did I screw up priorities again? Let's see. Wait a minute. There is some condition here. Keep one troop... Aha! One troop and one sepoy at each pop, not, not passive active... Keep one troop and one sepoy at each pop, not an active support. Okay, I screwed it up again. This guy is not going to move. This, because he has to stay here, so this guy is also going away. So many details. Recount, 29 points. Anyway, assault, what's going to happen? All these guys are going to jail. That's it. That's that's the assault. The protest market actually remains, because the protest market doesn't need anyone to, um, you know, to, to keep it going. Raj gets control. Oh, and there is also this thing. When the protest marker is in a space, that means that all the Raj forces in the space are dealing with these mass protests, and none of them, until the protest is gone, none of them are allowed to leave. So these guys, they're, they're locked in here, they're locked in Bihar until they suppress the protest, somehow. Which can be beneficial. Secondly, there is this lovely detail that when the Ra Gandhi, when Gandhi goes to jail, is that put it? Did they put it here? Ah, if Gandhi arrested at the end of Raj's turn, 
First shift restrain minus one, then Congress may place an available protest in up to two cities, provinces or states without protest. Okay, see, this this is not totally terrible. We get to start two protests just because Gandhi is in the jail. Now, is the Raj going to ass assault again? Well, I don't even need to roll the die because... Wait, that guy's... that guy's flipped over. Actually, I do need to roll the die. Hmm. Okay, this could be interesting. Let's see. Wait, I need to roll the die. Is it above restraint? It is above restraint. Okay, they got they got lucky. Well, unlucky. Maybe I got lucky. Right, remove two part protest, no protest, unrest. Okay, yes, unrest is a priority, so Raj is going to do this. Raj is going to kill this gorilla. Yes, gorillas do not go to jail, they go to um available. And this guy goes away, and revolutionaries points go down one point. So that's that's happened. And the only other play oh crap. I forgot about this. Actually, not a problem. The Raj can assault in both of these spaces without the need for a die roll because uh, these are all troops they're free to use, so uh, this doesn't go well for guerrillas. I wasn't expecting the Raj to get so lucky, but uh, it they did. So, oh, by the way, this is going to make Raj control here. It's really knocking it out of the park today. Okay, now, since they've arrested our man Gandhi, restraint goes down by one, and we get to place two protest markers just for free. And by the way, uh, have I explained? The protest markers are normally limited to the level of, of restraint, so if restraint is here, you can only place one protest, and you cannot place any more until the previous one is somehow resolved. At four you get two protest markers, at three you get four, and, um, well, now we get to all to use all the protests. But, whenever the game tells you to place a protest marker, either through Gandhi arrest or through the play of one of the cards, you are not actually restra you're not restrained by the restraint. Anyway, we get to place two protest markers. Where do we want them? Mm hmm. I think I'm going to drop one here in Madras and another one. Well, you know, I'm going to put it here in the United Provinces. Don't know why, but I just like how it's going. All of these uh, these troops are locked locked in the United Provinces now. So, I think that's it. Oh no, that's not it. That was just the operation. That special activity in two spaces. Uh, okay, let's see if Raj is going to do imperialism. How much of imperialism? Okay, again, three points. Where can Raj get three points of imperialism? For the best impact. Well, it can remove unrest here, right? And that's what it's going to do. Shift of support, two pop, no protest, unrest. Yes, yes, it's going to remove this marker. Um, it goes here. And then it's going to remove this. And place this. Oh. Exactly what I was planning to do on like the first turn. But now this is happening on the second. And that was three points worth of imperialism. Hey, game. 35 points. Wait. Two and four. Well, this is not going well. Right, so that was the Raj's turn. The League... Oh, yes, the League passed. The League is going first. The next card, they were waiting for it.
the long simmering dream of a separate Muslim state become wait what oh I think there's a typo. Yeah, the long simmering dream of a separate Muslim state became the official position of the Muslim League at its general session in Lahore in 1940. With World War II raging in Europe and soon to engulf Asia, the Muslim League broke with Congress and did not participate in the Quit India Movement, Card 36, instead backing the British war effort in exchange for British support of partition after the war. Ah, I see. So Britain is doing its usual divide and conquer thing. Alright, so they're going to play this, they're going to place a Muslim state in any Muslim province. And place two pieces there from out of play, this is actually really good. League, where are you going to place the state? No active opposition, two pop, fewest cubes. Actually, cubes don't matter here, but... Two pop, fewest cubes. Well, it's going to do it here, I guess, two pop. One cube. We're removing control, we're putting the, this, rotate, okay, the state is placed, uh, what else do I need? Okay, sepoys, sepoys do not get removed from a state, they can stay, they're locals, uh, troops would have been kicked out, uh, then place two pieces there from out of play, and like this. Oh, this is really bad. They could they could place a base here, like in a couple of turns. Probably going to. Right, so that was the league. It's played the event, and the next faction is the Raj, and the next faction is revolutionaries. And they're going to play Operation Special Activity unless hey, look at this. The, this is a this is an event for the revolutionaries, right? And they are going to pick it. Active faction. First eligible on an upcoming critical event. Yes. So the revolutionaries are going to pass. They're not going to get anything for it. Well, they would have gotten resources, but they're not using them. So we get to act second. Uh, and we have... Do we have any presence on the map? Got people in cities. Now, I could start protesting cities to lock everyone in the cities into, you know not being able to leave cities, because this is where the Raj forces all deploy. But I don't think it's going to work. I need to rally. Problem with rallying is that I could only rally in two spaces. Crap. Cities, province and state with protest or Gandhi plus neutral. Oh, I can rally in all spaces with protest. This is good. Oh, yes. So... Uh, where do I want to rally? I want to rally. I want to rally Mysore. Mysore Presidency. This guy flips because this is there is a protest. This is nice. I'm going to rally here. Because... I don't know, I probably should not have dropped... Uh, nah, I'm, I'm going to stay. And we could... We could drop a guy in Bihar. Okay, we could do it. But I don't think we should. Now, I'm going to put someone in Hyderabad. And I'm going to put someone in... How is it pronounced again? Let me, let me see. Let me see the pronunciation guide. Um, Rajputana. The stress on the first syllable. Although I looked it up and apparently in... Uh, was it Hindi? The, the, the stress is not actually important. Okay, this guy is going to be deactivated because this this is a peaceful place. Maybe I should go to Mysore. Actually, well, yeah, let, let's do it in Mysore instead of Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Uh. Okay, so we rallied. Can I do a special activity question? Negotiate. Can I negotiate? I need a space with Congress activists and no Raj control not selected for operations. Oddly enough, I cannot do this because these places were selected for operations. Where I just placed people, obviously, they were selected for operations. And uh, cities are all under Raj control, so I can't negotiate, which would have been 
actually handy because it lets you release Gandhi from jail. Mm, Satyagra doesn't work because we have no Gandhi. We could persuade, we could remove adversaries. Actually... Oh yes, this, this is what I could do. I'm going to persuade them. I'm going to persuade this troop away. Am I allowed to remove troops? Am I allowed to persuade troops away? Yes. Troops and bases last. Unity minus one if I remove. Okay, so I'm going to remove, and that takes away Raj control. And then I'm going to... Hmm... Okay, let's, let's remove this sepoy. It's not going to do much once you see how much troops uh, the Raj can deploy. Okay. I think this worked out nicely. We've done Operation Special Activity, this goes there. And now we end the turn. Revolutionaries get to do stuff. The Raj gets to sit and watch. Five cards. Okay, this is the last card that is guaranteed not to be a sp What the hell is this? Okay, no, this is not this. This is a, this is a Muslim League event, but it's not placing uh, and not placing a state. Oh, by the way, I forgot to give them points for the state. How much points? Eight points. That's just super. Everyone's getting points. Right, revolutionaries, what is their critical event that they love so much? In one space, add two guerrillas from out of play, add one unrest marker and shift the space to neutral. Wow. <clears throat> Post recording here. I get so excited about the event I didn't actually read the event description. Card 24, read on the Chittagong Armory. In 1930, 65 revolutionaries led by Surya Sen assaulted Chittagong in East Bengal. They captured both the police armory and the auxiliary force armory, but failed to locate any ammunition. The small army fled into the Chittagong Hills, where they were surrounded by several thousand British troops. After a gun battle in which 12 revolutionaries and 80 troops were killed, Sen led his men into hiding among nearby villages. He was finally found, convicted, and hanged three years later. This is awesome, 65 guys versus several thousand, and... They killed 80 and got away, most of them. Anyway, back to our regular operations. Add two guerrillas from out of play. Shift the space to neutral. It doesn't, it didn't say set, set to neutral, it said shift, so it's going to be passive support. Okay, the situation is looking less critical now. This is kind of a, an important thing about this game. Even when you can theoretically put one faction out of the game by like removing its pieces, it's probably not a good idea because everyone acts as a check on everybody else. They've played their event, and the Raj is going to... Okay, let me guess. Is the, the Raj is going to beat the shit out of me. Any two poor promises with no Raj control. Um... Hmm... Yes. Die roll less than number of available troops. Mm, not really, no, I wouldn't say so. Oh, you're going to govern. Wait, am I doing it right? No, die roll is less than number of available troops. No, it is not. Okay, it's going to govern. Where is it going to govern? Move protest where no activists. Oh, we, we already have the, the, the idea. Remove protest? You can remove protest here. And the protest goes into stock, into supply. Next. It cannot remove protest here, so it's going to... I think it's all part of the Govern Act action, yes. Am I looking... I'm looking in the wrong place. 
Govern, remove, uh, okay, one, we can select one other space for Govern. So it's going to buy Imperialism again. Ooh, five points. Crap. Where is it going to do it? It, ha it can only pick one space because that's just how things are. Because it's already removed protest in one. Shift to support two pop, no protest, unrest. This place. Okay, it's going to remove this and it's going to shift this to support. And the revolutionaries lose two points yet again. And the Raj gains two points yet again. Isn't this exciting? But th this back and forth happens a lot. Right, so we don't govern. All protest spaces have cubes? No. Sweep. Okay, let's see where they're going to sweep. Space with no control, two pop protest. Hmm, do I know any places with no control, two pop protest? Well, I actually know two places like this. Any more priorities? Fewest active adversaries. Fewest active adversaries is a higher priority than unrest, uh, but both of these places have one active adversary that is our activist, unfortunately. So Raj is going to go sweep here. Oh, something I haven't mentioned, that a Raj sweep is allowed not just to move into an adjacent space, but the way I did here in Bihar, it's allowed to move along one string of unoccupied railways. Maybe I should start occupying railways, because that would block these long-range sweeps. Anyway, how can the Raj sweep into this place? Uh, only, there's only one way. Madras. Flip. The Raj still doesn't get control, but there are no other sources, and the Raj cannot, uh, rem cannot lose control of this place. because Not allowed to. I mean, the bot is not allowed to. The player can do it. They're going to regret it, but... And luckily I did remove this sepoy in my sore, so we don't have a second guy here. Okay, so that was the sweep. That's all that happened. Now we need to roll die. Five. Above restraint. So, next space. No right control, two pop protests. Oh, right, I already know. It's going to be here. And it's going to send one more guy here. And now they have control. And that's all the sweep does. Okay, we're all the die again. Oh, yes, okay. We got lucky, because this is the end of the Raj... Uh, the, the end of sepoy use, and the only, the only pieces that can move... The only pieces that can sweep now are... Uh, what are they called? Uh, the troops. So these two guys. Well, we know where this guy is going to sweep. We've already done this last time. Sweep here. Well, not last time. At the end of the, at the beginning of this video. And uh, oh wait, no, it's I keep I keep forgetting. Again. He's not supposed to leave until there is active support in Bengal, until everyone loves the Raj in Bengal. This guy can move, and this guy can move into... Mm. Actually, this guy is not going to move because this is Bihar, this is a two-pop place, not at active support, so the Raj is going to stay here too. Okay, that, that's, that's actually the end. This guy is also not going to move anywhere. Right. So, do I risk flipping to the next card? Crack down... Oh, shit. Okay, let's see. Maybe I should. Because if I flip this card and the next card turns out to be the campaign card, I'll have to do the campaign round immediately. Okay, let's do it. Have I recalculated everything? No, I haven't. Okay, next card. Crackdown at the Kisakwani Bazaar. Card 15.
found it. In 1930, following the arrest of Pashtun non-violence leader Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, card 17, protesters gathered at the Kisakwani Bazaar in Peshawar. Wait, am I pronouncing it right? A second. Thanks, game. There is no explanation. There is no pronunciation guide. Okay. Protesters gathered in the Kisakwani Bazaar in Peshawar in the northwest frontier province. Troops of the British Indian Army arrived. The Kudai Kid. The Kudai Kidmadgar, card 39, protesters refused to yield. After a tense standoff, the troops. After a tense standoff, the troops opened fire on the crowd. At the time, it was reported that 20 had been killed. Later estimates put the number in the hundreds. I see. This, uh, this must be the members of the resistance. So, what does what does the league going? Add one unrest marker with cubes. Yes, the, the league is going to play the shaded event. Add one unrest marker to any space with cubes. Shift that place two levels towards active opposition. Hmm. Shift towards opposition. Where is the league going to do it? Not at active opposition. A Muslim space. Two pop. Mm, it's not going to apply. Okay. Punjab or East Bengal. There are only two options. And we don't have a priority telling us what which one to pick. So let's just pick randomly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, how game? How do I move this die without it? Strange. Okay, okay. I'm going to roll it where it is. Five. It's going to be here. Okay, we're going to place an arrest marker. Okay, I think I fixed it. I think I found it. I, I, I apparently I pressed F1. Anyway, so the unrest is going here, and then this place is shifting two levels towards active opposition because why not return to the state where we started this uh, this episode? One, two, three, four. The revolutionary has four points, we have four points, the league has ten, and the Raj is somewhere in the thirties. Thirty-one. Okay, what do we do? We we have some option to We're not going to pass. We're going to do a thing. Actually, you know what? We could negotiate. We could negotiate and let Gandhi, let try to get try to let Gandhi roll free. Special activity: one space with on, one space with Congress activists and no control. Remove protest marker from the space. Shift restraint plus one, and then we could release Gandhi from jail. And shift this place towards active support. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can maybe we can make do without Gandhi. I don't like the idea of giving support to these people. So, what can I do? We can raise some hell. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do another non-cooperation. Should space one level towards Active opposition and reduce uh, restraint. Restraint is one. Basically, Raj can now do things pretty much for free. Which is not going to be nice. Is that all I can do? Well, not really, but I can also. 
You know what? Let's let's throw in more persuade. We're going to kick this guy out. And we're going to kick this sepoy out. And that's going to remove Raj control. Actually, you know what? I should I since I'm not really stuck on a specific order of actions, I should neg I should persuade first to remove those two pieces, remove control, and then non-cooperate here, which I can do. Pretend I did pretend I persuaded this guy away first, so this thing also goes away. And the Raja's score is 25, which is something I'm far more comfortable with. Okay, we've done our operation in special activity. These guys are going into active, these guys are going to ineligible. And do I flip the next card? Okay, I'm going to flip the next card and then we're going to look at the next card. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. Next time we... We are definitely going to see the campaign card, the campaign round, I need some time for that, because it's... Let me show you, this... This is all you need to do on a campaign card. Mind you, this is when you're doing it with people. Because with uh, bots, you have to do all of this. Well, except for... A few things we're, we're not going to be doing because we're playing the Congress. It has the instructions for all four factions. Let's leave it like this. We've got uh, what has changed. We removed Raj support from United Provinces and Madras Presidency. Nothing changed in East Bihar, in East Bengal somehow. It's, uh, we've lost our presence in Bihar. Gandhi is conveniently as depicted here. As, as advertised, Gandhi is in jail along with two of his buddies. And, uh, and Punjab is, you know, kind of historically turning into a massive potential massive firefight because we've got four guerrillas, three league activists, there's a Muslim state here, and our lonely guy is... Well, we should probably give this guy some backup. Oh yeah, we also put some people into the princely states, we could try to do stuff there. But we should start protests there first. Okay, let's let's leave it like this. And see if uh, I'll have to rewatch the video and see if I screwed up anymore. Or oh, for example, like this. I should flip this over and and put it under the deck. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. India is still uh, not in a very good shape, but it's uh, I guess it's getting there little by little, unless it gets partitioned prematurely.